morning how y'all doing out there um my first video i'm gonna give it to dwight howard i like exactly what he said he said we're tired of entertaining you and i don't really feel compelled to play but can help the black community that'd be a bigger championship and i agree with his sentiments um this is big and i know people are gonna say well racism gonna be here next time but see you have momentum now the thing about in white America that is a fact, you don't, when you have an issue, you got to attack it right then and there. And this has never gone anywhere, but now is the time to have a voice to say, yo, I'm here. We have to deal with it. You know, because if you don't deal with it, they're going to say, what's the problem? We paid you nicely and you live comfortably. What's that? Where, where is that now? This is the time. The cats like the White House, especially Kyrie Irving, said, we're not going to play. That hits the bottom line. And you know that white corporate America can't stand nothing more than not having the bottom line out there. But it's very important that you take a stand. It's not important. And especially if guys have already established their livelihood and their, you know, have their finances and stuff this is where you really would come together and it's important that you do you know you see what then happened in the last few days and i ain't even got to get started by atlanta but you can see what's going on and then you have the pandemic is it really that important to get underneath a bubble and give some white plantation owner the nba more money i don't think so all they will do is give you a blm logo and a sticker and a stamp. All they'll do is make some nice PC statement. But what you really need is black ownership, black general managers, more black head coaches, and a real commitment. And I would tell the NBA to go a step further. Stop making players stand for the national anthem. And change the rules about age. If you're grown at 18, you can come to the league. They need to really press Adam Silver's behind. That's right. Don't have to stand for the anthem because it's very contradictory that the NFL and they're going to be knees take. Why don't you take a knee? In that? Why you guys stand? Why you going to sit there and grin for the camera in the NBA? That's why I'm not big on Adam Silver. And I looked at David Stern double eyed. See, again, you have to have leverage when you have leverage. People ask you straight up. You got to be straight up. This ain't no time to be shucking and grinning about it. So. Props to Dwight Howard for what he said, like I said about Kyrie Irving. Hey, this is way more important than playing some game just to entertain a lot of white folks and, and general people in general because this is a serious issue. We've been dealing with this for 400 years, and this things carry more weight. All right, so that's my thoughts. It takes props to Dwight Howard for speaking out against coming back for the NBA this year. Give me your thoughts. It takes it to like, subscribe, and the bell rings a new video. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for one another. And you better stand for something or fall for anything. There are things that are very important to your being. I'm out. Peace.